Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Funko Pop Central. Today, we are going to be doing another pop hunt. I believe this is episode number 12. Um, so last episode, in number 11, we went to stores like Hot Topic, Box Lunch, so stores in the mall. So today, we're going to be going to stores like Toys R Us, um, Walmart, Walgreens, so stores that aren't in the mall. So let's get right into it. Okay, guys, so we just got out of church, and now we're at Walgreens, the first store, so we're going to go in and see what they have. All right, guys, so nothing really too crazy. Uh, a couple Clone Commander Cody's and a Young Anakin. Um, really kind of like the Young Anakin. I already have a Clone Commander Cody. Um, then they, they do have, I know a couple of you guys collect Marvel Legends and Black Series, so they do have a couple of those. I'll show them. I don't really collect them too much. Um, I do have a few Black Series. Um, I think they're pretty cool. If you're really hardcore Star Wars fans, they're awesome, um, but not really seeing too much else. All right, guys, and then over in this little clearance section, I found Wedge Antilles, but I already have him. Alright guys, so we just got out of Walgreens, picked up one pop, I'll show you guys it later. Um, and now, now we're going to go head over to Toys R Us and then uh, a mall over there, not the one I went to last time. It's a different mall, so it has a couple different stores, so let's go over there. But first, Barnes & Noble. Alright guys, so over here we got uh, like Michael Corleone, just a bunch of Barnes & Noble exclusives. Cat in the Hat, he's flock, we got The Neighbor. On this side, there's some cool Masters of the Universe down there. There's Adam Ant, and I'm sure Rachel's going to want. Um, we got Jasmine, the Barnes & Noble exclusive. And on this side, we got, like, Alfredo. We got um, Ghostbuster Mike, a bunch of Stranger Things pops, another flock to Sam I Am, and that's all I'm really seeing. There's Adam Ant right there. Um, and then on this side, guys, we got some two-packs. Um, we got some Space Jam pops, some Mega Man pops. Um, probably not going to pick anything up from here, so let's go somewhere else. Okay, so we just got out of the Barnes & Noble. Didn't really see anything I wanted in there, so now we're going to head over to Toys R Us. Alright guys, so we are in Toys R Us right now in their huge section, which uh, if you've been collecting long enough, you, you you know that Toys R Us used to have a really small pop section, like an end cap with like maybe five pops, so now it's awesome that they have all these pops. Um, so I'm probably going to get that uh, Bruce Banner right there. Uh, there is an LOL bit, a couple of them here. I know a lot of people wanted those when they first came out, um, and they were kind of late to getting here. Um, but anyways, we got a, a lot of Toys R Us exclusives. They do a really good job of having pretty it's pretty easy to get toys for us exclusives if you go at least once a week um i'm really looking for the mini and mickey two pack i'm probably gonna pick that one up as well um i think i saw one down on the bottom shelf here but there's lucky from despicable me 3 there's some thor ragnarok pops there's snow white right there there's sub-zero which is a cool one just a lot of cool pops here and it's kind of impossible to well it's not impossible but it's really hard to go through every single pop here um and look through them all but i'm gonna try and i'll get back to you guys all right, guys, so we just got Toys R Us, picked up two more pops. You can see the the bags piling up over there. Where's the other one? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so we picked up two more pops, and now we're going to head over to the mall and go into, like, a comic shop type thing and the GameStop, so let's head over there. All right, guys, so we just made it to the mall, so we're going to go into a store called J JD's... Jay's CD and Hobby Shop is what it's called. So they have a lot of pops in there. And then we're going to probably go to GameStop, and I think there's one other store in there that we can check out, so let's get in there. And it's closed. They're moving, so we're not going to be able to go in there today. All right, guys, so we just got out of the mall. We ate some food. Um, so it was kind of a fail, though, on the pop part of it because um, the JCD and Hobby Shop is moving locations, so they were kind of closed down, so I didn't get to go in there. And then GameStop was was pretty bad as usual for me. I don't really ever find anything good there. Um, so now we're going to head over to Target and maybe Walmart, and then we're going to call it a day. Alright guys, so just made it into Target. Um, not seeing a lot of stuff that I want, but it is a it is a pretty good section over at this Target. They have a lot of Episode 8 pops. They got a ton of Kingdom Hearts pops. They got the exclusive Belle with her pink dress. Um, they got a lot of uh, pops from like Mortal Kombat. They just have a really wide variety. Um, it's just nice to see that. So they got a lot of pops from Troll Hunters as well. They got Stranger Things. Um, and I think they got some Dorbs. Yep, they got some Stranger Things Dorbs here too. Um, and then just like the plushies and all that stuff and the vinyls. Alright guys, so just left Target a little bit ago. Didn't see too much I wanted in there, so I didn't pick anything up. Um, just dropped Rachel off because she got a bunch of stuff to do today still. Um, so dropped her off and I'm going to go to one more store, probably Walmart, um, and see if I can pick anything up there. Uh, so I'll see you guys over there. Alright guys, so over here at the movie moment section, they got the, canteen, the cantina face off. Uh, they got the Death Star duel. They got the trash compactor escape, the escape pod uh, landing. And I think a bunch of, yeah, I think that's all they have, but still really cool. 
Alright guys, so over in this section they got some Minecraft exclusives, which I know a lot of you guys like Minecraft probably. Um, it's pretty fun, so they got those. They got a Guardians of the Galaxy exclusive um, with Star-Lord in like a different uh, like shirt or something. Uh, they got some more Minecraft exclusives. They got the Stan Lee uh, right there from the Winter Soldier. And then they just got a bunch of mystery minis down here. Uh, Kingdom Hearts and Lord of the Rings are pretty much the only two I know. Okay, guys, just got out of Walmart, got a few things. I got two pops, and I got a shirt, too, because I thought it looked cool. Um, so I'm going to go home, show you. Uh, I think I got four pops today, so and I'll show you the shirt, too. So let's go home and check it out. All right, guys, so we just made it home from our pop hunt. Uh, this was the shirt I got from Walmart. Uh, it's just Dexter's Laboratory. Uh, I really liked the show when I was younger. Me and my brothers always used to watch it. Um, let, comment down below what your favorite childhood show was. I'd be curious about that. Um, there's a lot of good ones back in the day. Um, so we got a lot of pops here we're going to go through. We're going to start with Toys R Us, so let's get right into it. All right, guys, so we got uh, five pops here, like I said. The first two are from Toys R Us. Um, but all these pops I got today were kind of pops that I missed out on while I was kind of taking a little break. Uh, so these are all just kind of catch-up pops that I missed. Uh, so the first two we got here are Bruce Banner, uh, Toys R Us exclusive. Um, he's really cool. Obviously, this is the, the Hulk, basically. Uh, he turns into the Hulk when he gets mad if you don't know anything about Marvel. So we got Bruce Banner there. And then we also got the Mickey and Minnie 2 pack, um, which is really cool. Mickey's holding like a little heart that says Mickey plus Minnie, if you can see that. Probably not, but it's a really cool pop. I really like this one. So those are the two we picked up from Toys R Us. All right, guys, so the next two are from Walmart. Uh, I got a couple of cool ones here. Um, so the first one is Mr. Monopoly. Um, I didn't actually film him because um, I actually found him after I did the filming for the Walmart part of it. But uh, So we found Mr. Monopoly. This is a really awesome pop. I really like this game, too. Me and my family always play it. Um, so it's just a really fun game, and I really like Mr. Monopoly there. Uh, next, we got Stan Lee from the Winter Soldier. Yep, the Winter Soldier when he's dressed in his, like, cop uniform. Um, when he makes his, like, little uh, appearance, as he does in most of the Marvel movies. So that's really cool. So those are the two we got from Walmart. All right, guys, and the last one we got was from Walgreens, and it is the Young Anakin. Um, so this is a really cool one. This is, like, when he's about to do that, like, drag race really cool scene in the first couple. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was the first one because Qui-Gon was in that one. Um, so it was the episode one, um, probably not the best movie out of the Star Wars, or definitely not the best, um, but still a really cool pop, and I'm glad they made it, and those are the five pops we picked up today. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you liked it. Um, just a reminder, if you're still watching this far, thank you. Um, 3,000 subscribers is coming up quick, and we're going to be doing a giveaway, um, and the giveaway is actually going to take place on Instagram, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's Funko Pop Central underscore YT. You can find me. Uh, follow me there, and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.